In this lecture, we will study basic form elements. A form is used to collect input from user. Form elements are the elements present between the form tag. So, opening the form tag, writing the form elements in between and closing the form tag. Basic form elements. Input element, text area element, radio button, check box, select element, submit and reset button. First is input element. It is the most important form element. The working of input depends on the value of its type attribute. Let's check the example. So I have designed one form in HTML and I have given the name of the form as myform.html. Let's check the code. Doc type HTML. HTML head title. Title is simple form. Title tag close. Head tag close. Body tag. Third level heading H3. My form giving this heading to the form. Closing H3 tag. Then using pre tag before form tag. And closing pre tag after the form tag over here. So why we use pre tag? Pre tag means pre formatted text. It means that the text has already been formatted and should not be formatted further. So whatever spaces and line breaks that I have given in the notepad are displayed as it is in the browser. You can notice it that I have not used a single BR in my whole program. So this is the benefit of using pre-tag. So what happens if we remove pre-tag? Let us see. Removing the pre-tag. Saving the program. Control S. Refreshing over here. You can see the indentation of the form has totally changed. You cannot see any spaces where I have given in the program before. So for this purpose we use pre-tag. So the form is properly aligned. So again restoring back the pre-tag before form tag and closing it after form tag. Saving it again and refreshing the data. So you can see here after refreshing the form is restored. So this is the use of pre-tag. Next is form tag. Then first name as it is written over here. Then input element we have used input type equal to text because user is going to enter text over here. This is a single line text box. So input type equal to text displays single line text box for the user to enter the value. We have given some name which is f name that is first name max length equal to 10 and size is equal to 25. So it will allow me to enter only 10 characters. So after 10 characters it is not allowing me to enter further. This is the use of max length. Size equal to 25. Setting the size of this text box. Same way here we have used size equal to 20 for last name. Input type equal to text. Name equal to L name. Size equal to 20. So you can clearly notice the difference between the size of the two text boxes. Next is text area element. It allows the user to input text over multiple rows. The size of the text area is specified by the calls and rows attribute. Let us check the program. For address we have used text area 
and text area specifies the attribute name equal to ADDR for address, rows is equal to 5 and calls equal to 25. So we have specified 5 rows and 25 columns. So rows specify the height and calls specify the width of your text area element. It displays the multi-line text box for the user to enter the value because addresses are big and cannot fit in single line text box. Moving on to next element, radio button. It allows the user to select one or more option and checkbox allows the user to select more than one option. So let us see. We have taken gender. So here user can select these are the radio buttons. User can select any one from this. So if the user is selecting male, it gets selected. If the user will select female, the first one is deselected. So the user is allowed to select only single value. So for that we write input type is equal to radio, name equal to gender, value equal to male for male. Next is input type radio, name equal to gender, value equal to female for the female. So this displays the two radio buttons over here. Notice that the name is same whereas the value is different because it is going to take single value and enter that value in the gender variable while entering the form data. Next we will see check boxes. So these are the check boxes. So we can select one or more check box at a time by clicking on the box. You can deselect or uncheck the check box by again clicking on that. So let's see the code. Input type check box name equal to h1 value equal to reading for the first check box. Input type checkbox name equal to h2 value equal to singing for second and input type checkbox name equal to h3 value equal to dancing for the third. Likewise we have displayed three checkboxes over here. So if you don't want you cannot select any of the checkboxes. It is up to the user. Next we will see the next element is select element. Select element creates a drop down list of values that a user can choose from. The option tag is placed into the select tag. So this is the select element. So we write select name equal to fruits. So user can select various fruits from this drop down list. So now only one can be selected by the user. And there are various options specified in the option tag. So this option tag is the sub tag of select tag. So option value equal to apple for apple option tag close. And thus we are entering all the other fruits and values as per that. Closing the option tag is important. But here you can see only one value can be selected. To select more than one value we should write multiple. So multiple allows the user to select more than one values. Saving with control S, refreshing the form. Now see here, we can see one more, uh, more than one options over here. So if you want to select more than one option, click on the first option, then press control and click next option. So like this you can Select more than one options over here. So one more attribute is there, size. Size is equal to 3. Closing it, saving the form, refreshing the form. So only 3 options are visible now because we have set size is equal to 3. Moving on to next element, submit button and reset button. 
submit button is used to submit the form data to the server whereas reset button is used to reset or clear the form value to its initial value so here you can see two buttons which are displayed so to display the button we write input type equal to submit value equal to submit and input type equal to reset value equal to reset to display the reset button so whatever is displayed on the button the text that is displayed is because of the value equal to submit and value equal to reset displays reset written on the button so when we submit any value it goes to the server so when we reset we can use reset over here i am entering some data in the form say sunita name patil address virat selecting gender female hobbies are reading and dancing favorite fruits are cherry kiwi mango see now after i reset it the data is reset to its initial value so it clears already filled form then we have closed form tag pre tag body tag and html tag so this completes the basic html form in this lecture we studied what are different basic form elements with example for notes on this topic please check the description box